Hey, Bayan. Yeah, so we are here outside of the city of Bakersfield Police Building at Truxton and H Street. As you can see, these are the protesters that are here so far. It's a much smaller group from last night. There's no real police presence so far. The only police that have come out actually came out to kind of clean up the memorial that uh, people were throwing flowers off of. But this is all that uh, exists of the protesters at this moment. Earlier today, I was talking with an activist and a local basketball coach here in town, Wesley Davis the third. He says the message from all the protests around the nation are the same, and it's one that he's preaching to his players. Uh, for me, I coach a lot of minority kids, uh, black students, um, Hispanic males as well. And my words to them is, is, is definitely be careful. That's what Wes Davis the third tells his players at Foothill High School, where he coaches boys basketball. With an opportunity to coach all races, his words align strongly with those being preached at protests around the nation. You are privileged in something to help the less privileged person. So in this situation, uh, to my white brothers and sisters in this world, your voice is important right now. Davis is happy to see these protests, but says this is just the knocking at the door. The message must be turned into action and impactful change must be had. Statement's not enough. You've got to come out and be active with it. So our next step is to sit down with these decision makers and to have a brutally honest conversation. The basketball coach says it's time to just stop loving black culture. You must love the people as well. Everybody loves black culture and that's not a secret. People come watch athletics. The majority of athletes are black at any level. Now it's time to join us. We're tired of you just watching. Now we need you to join us. Yeah, you heard his words there. He really wanted to urge, he wanted peaceful protests tonight, and he wants these protests to turn into actual change and the conversations with the decision makers who sit at that table. Again, here at 8th Street and Trucks and outside of the city of Bakersfield building, these are the protesters that are here so far. We're gonna keep you updated all night, and you can follow us on social media, 23 ABC News, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, live in downtown Bakersfield, I'm Matt Lively. Back to you, Bayon.